Okay, this one is about reversing valves. Used on heat pumps to change the inside coil to the outside coil and vice versa. But we're going to take a look at the inside of this thing and see if we can figure out how it works. Okay, this top port here, that's discharge. That comes straight off the compressor. It's always discharged. This is always suction to the compressor. These two ports here, depending on where the slide is, will either go to the outdoor coil or the indoor coil. And they will actually direct this flow here or here. And they will direct this flow here or here. Uh, and the solenoid actually just switches the uh, pressures. Let's take a look at the other side of this thing. Uh, probably fall apart now. Okay, there's your solenoid where your solenoid would mount. It slides right on here and it moves a very small valve inside here when it's energized and it takes low pressure from here. Remember I said this was suction and it takes high pressure from here and it switches which way the high and low pressures go now they can switch it so that high pressure goes here and low pressure goes here or switch it around so let's take a look at what's inside it Okay. Now, here's what we've got inside here. This slide moves back and forth. When there's a high pressure on this side from that little tube, then it pushes this way, uh, this plunger this way, and the low pressure side allows it to come over that way. And then when it's reversed, then the pressure comes the other way. These are the seals here that uh, seal off between here and here. Now you can see this is a little uh, sort of a U-shaped thing here. And when it's in this position, the suction, which is right there, goes up through here and out here. When it shifts, then the suction right here to here. So you can see how that actually reverses. Now what we haven't talked about is how this discharge line here reverses. Okay, the discharge line simply goes right in oops, like that and it goes to the body of the valve, the open part of the valve. You can see it's going right in there to the open part of the valve. So that when this is in this position, it can go from the discharge line here down to here and it goes out there. Then when it shifts the other way, it goes from the discharge line here out there. It's important that this thing move back and forth properly and that these lines, and I'll turn this upside down again, that these lines are clear. If they block any one of those blocks, the valve won't work. And problems with this valve are oftentimes uh, if there's a lot of garbage from a compressor replacement or something like that, then it'll block, you'll get garbage in these lines and it just won't shift or it may shift part way. You put too much heat when you're doing your brazing. This uh, part here has got a little Teflon slide on the bottom of it. That can melt. And of course this is made of plastic so it can melt. These seals here could go bad. That can also go bad if there's uh, garbage in the system. Uh, I'm going to give you a little closer 
view these things so that you have a little better idea of what's going on. Okay, uh, so these things could get overheated when uh, the brazing's done, and certainly if when you're installing this, if you tweak these valves at all you could damage the surface under here. Now it's pretty heavy, they may put a big copper uh, bar in there for this to slide on so it's hard to do that. Uh, however this one here, this discharge one, no, you could tweak it there. If there's any damage to this tube this thing will not slide, it just stops. It just completely stops. Uh, it may get halfway or something like that. They'll shift part way. Instead of being all the way over, there'll be something like that. And you'll get gases moving uh, straight from here into here. So if it goes from the discharge and ends up here, it's going to go straight back to the compressor.